really know at all. Something small or you can't see. Nanotechnology, let me see. Huh? There's nano iPods. Apple. It's like using technology to... Those are soft. And it like little gigabyte bugs and something. What do you... I don't even know what it stands for. Yeah. Like... Small? I'm gonna go with like nuclear stuff. Small? Something that... Something that... If you're working on it, it's very hard to see. Or you need like some... Like a microscope to see you. something that has to do with electronics. Yeah. Like little robots. Nanotechnology is making cool engineering marvels out of really tiny things. And in today's day and age, nanotechnology is the thing because that is what gives you faster computers, it gives you faster phones, helps you connect. Global Foundries is a really cool place which makes technology at a nanoscale. We make really small devices that go into your phones, your laptops, your gaming consoles, your cars, everyday stuff. You might not even know it, and the next electronic device you pick up, there's something by Global Foundries in it. I think there might be a misconception about now technology that um, we're a bunch of boring people that sit around and stare at computers all day, but actually, um, as you can see from my lab here, a lot of what we do is very hands-on and a lot of multitasking, troubleshooting, if you like to pro solve problems, this would be a really good program for you. A student who is interested in science and technology, engineering and math, all of those components, they all come together in nanotechnology. You have to take the pure sciences, chemistry and physics. You have to be technology savvy. There's an engineering aspect to this and of course math to drive all of the other fields. I love teaching about nanotechnology because I never teach the same thing twice. The great thing about technology is it's always changing. I'm very lucky to have the job that I have. I like knowing that I'm contributing to technology that's evolving every day. Being a part of Global Foundries is so cool in that we get to make the things we would be using tomorrow. What I really look forward to is having a super productive day, which basically means not a day with no problems, a day with problems that I am able to solve. Don't be shy of taking apart that computer that's sitting in the garage for, say, two weeks. Yeah, take it apart, you will be able to fix it. Don't let anything hold you back.